because sahasrara opened in you you could feel the existence of god many of you have felt the cool breeze on your hand and out of your brain some have grown in surge of us some have not some are still carrying on with old catches but now i have to say that quite a lot of you can become gurus means teachers and you should act as teachers to act as teacher you should know sahaja yoga the theory and the practice of it thoroughly well and then you can become a guru it's a very responsibility lot of understanding for a guru you should not have any ego first you should not have any of your chakras catchy you should be absolutely clear all the time and there the vibration should be flowing in both the hand if they are moving in one hand and not in another you cannot become so you have to be a perfect sahaj yogi then you can be a guru and so many of you can be but you have to ascertain first are you capable of being a guru or not with humbleness you will understand those who think they can be guru 
should become gurus. Because now I can't travel from places to places. And you have to do my job, is to give Realization to people. But you have to be able to give Amas Realization, then only you could be a guru. You have to do now my work. I won't be able to go all over. But you have to go to other countries and create new surge yoga. You can do it. It is your responsibility now to give Realization to people. And you can give, if you have vibrations as like a guru. Whatever you teach, you must practice. When a person who drinks cannot become a guru, a person who flirts, and as a licensure of life, cannot become. So first examine yourself, are you clean or not? This is how Sahaja Yoga will grow. Otherwise, after I retire or I don't go anywhere, then Sahaja Yoga will go into waste. So it is for you to carry the torch, the light. It's your responsibility now. You have got your Realization. You have to be very humble very humble with everyone and work it out because if they are not realized souls, you shouldn't condemn them but tell them very patiently and sweetly that you are not all right. Tell them how to meditate, how to improve.
So you all have to become a guru. This is the day of Guru Purnima. And I bless you that you all become Guru. First of all, he should be a detached person. That doesn't mean you give up your family or anything. But you should have a detached attitude that anybody from your family does wrong, you should go away from it. Secondly, through your Realization you can see that you can spread happiness and remove their problem. You have seen whatever I have done, you can do it. You have got power to do it, but no hypocrisy. No hypocrisy, otherwise you will spoil the name of Sahaja Yoga. It is not my old age, but I want to give you a complete freedom to spread Sahaja Yoga. You have got it free and you also have to give it to people free. Now how confidence is the main thing. Do not condemn yourself. You are all realized souls, but those who can think they can become gurus can become and try. You have to have patience with the seekers. You can't be angry and hot tempered unless and until they try to trouble you. You shouldn't lose your temper. You should be quiet. Guru has to be a loving person, very loving and understanding. Then you have to be humble. Try. Of course my photograph would be there, but still you must try. Try to understand that now what is your responsibility? But use my photograph. Every time you have a beating, use my photograph.
Now you have the power. You have the right, but you must have a temperament all. In the beginning you have to be very patient and kind. Again, let us see how many want to be gurus. Oh, what a big number! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all of. You. May God bless you.